Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. As the chip competition between China and the United States intensifies, attention to chips on the domestic internet has gradually increased, and many people have realized the importance of chips. In fact, with the rapid development of emerging industries such as artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, and new energy vehicles, chips that play an important role in these fields have become more popular. As domestic attention to chips increases, the lithography machines required for the lithography process, which accounts for more than 20% of the chip manufacturing environment, have begun to attract the attention of many people in the country. Photolithography machines can not only be used in chip manufacturing, but also in chip packaging and testing to achieve high-performance chip packaging and testing. At present, China has many internationally renowned semiconductor equipment companies such as Shanghai Microelectronics, Northern Huachuang, and China Microelectronics. Among them, Shanghai Microelectronics has developed very rapidly in the field of photolithography machines and has entered the top 10 in the world. Basically second only to ASML of the Netherlands and a few companies such as Nikon and Canon of Japan. China's domestically produced photolithography machine process has reached 90 nanometers and can produce 65 nanometers process chips under multiple exposures. Previously, Shanghai Microelectronics also reported that it has completed a technological breakthrough in 28 nanometers lithography machines and is expected to be shipped to the Chinese market at the end of 2023 or early 2024. In the field of lithography machines, ASML, a Dutch semiconductor equipment manufacturer, can be said to be the industry leader. It is not only the only company in the world that can ship EUV lithography machines, but also the company that ships the largest number of lithography machines in the world. ASML engineers once said arrogantly, even if the design drawings of the lithography machine are handed over to China, China will not be able to manufacture advanced lithography machines. But it is obvious that China today can manufacture lithography machines even without ASML's lithography machine drawings. Today's leading company in the field of lithography machines, ASML, has actually experienced many difficulties during its development process and was even on the verge of bankruptcy. But it finally survived. From this point, it is not difficult to see that the future development of China's lithography machine industry may not exceed that of American and Western companies such as ASML. In order to curb the development of China's chip industry, the United States has repeatedly revised its chip rules and restricted the shipment of advanced chips, technologies, and materials. It also signed a tripartite agreement with Japan and the Netherlands to restrict the shipment of semiconductor equipment. Under repeated pressure and requests from the United States, the Netherlands finally announced that it would restrict the shipment of semiconductor equipment starting from September 1. However, on September 1, the day when Dutch semiconductor equipment export controls came into effect, ASML publicly stated that it had obtained a shipping license and could continue to ship lithography machines until 2024. Not only that, ASML has accelerated the shipment of semiconductor equipment to the Chinese market since the second quarter of this year. Judging from the financial report data released by ASML, its revenue from the Chinese market in the first three quarters of this year accounted for 8%, 24% and 48% respectively. It is not difficult to see from this data that ASML seems to be more anxious than Chinese chip companies to accelerate the shipment of equipment to the Chinese market. This is actually due to the rapid rise of domestic equipment manufacturers. A variety of semiconductor equipment has been replaced by localization, and Tsinghua University even proposed the concept of lithography factory. ASML became anxious worried that its technical level in the field of photolithography machines would be surpassed by China. ASML has experienced similar situations many times during its development, 
and was even on the verge of bankruptcy. Therefore, ASML probably doesn't want to try it again. ASML is a company specializing in the production of high-end lithography machines. The company was founded in 1984. It mainly provides a complete set of solutions including lithography machines, lithography simulation and lithography testing, supporting services and parts. In 1984, several technical members of Philips Lithography Equipment R&D team thought, they are all producing lithography machines anyway, so why don't we do it ourselves? What's more, the future development prospects of lithography machines are excellent. So, these people left Philips and created ASML. For a long time, ASML's performance was not ideal. Its technical level lagged behind semiconductor equipment manufacturers in the United States and Japan. Basically, the lithography machines it shipped could only be sold to Philips. ASML even had financial problems many times. In 1990, ASML ushered in a turning point in its destiny. In this year, ASML launched the PAS 5500 series of lithography machines, breaking the monopoly of American and Japanese manufacturers. ASML gradually began to become one of the world's leading lithography machine companies. From 1999 to 2007, ASML began to expand its product line and continued to optimize its product line through large-scale mergers and acquisitions. ASML ushered in a stage of rapid development. In 2001, ASML completed the acquisition of Silicon Valley Group, SVG. At this time, SVG already had mature 157 nanometers optical technology. After acquiring SVG, ASML's lithography machine technology has reached the world's leading level. After that, the technical level of ASML began to develop rapidly and even led to technological changes in the industry. In 2001, ASML launched a dual-stage lithography machine. However, although ASML has expanded at this stage, it still faces the containment of Nikon and Canon, the twin Japanese photolithography machine companies, as well as the strong influence of many American semiconductor equipment companies. At that time, ASML was even beaten by Nikon and Canon, and it also experienced many bad experiences of being on the verge of bankruptcy. However, ASML once again ushered in a turning point. At that time, Japan's Nikon and Canon planned to use dry lithography machines for the future development of lithography machines, and the industry basically thought so. ASML, on the advice of TSMC Lin Benjian, tried a wet lithography machine, which is today's immersion lithography machine. In 2004, ASML launched the first immersion lithography machine prototype. After that, immersion lithography machines began to sweep the lithography machine market. ASML also used this to surpass semiconductor equipment companies such as Nikon and Canon and become one of the industry leaders. After that, U.S. semiconductor companies such as Intel formed an EUV alliance, among which ASML was the only non-U.S. semiconductor company. Later, this alliance developed extreme ultraviolet light source technology, and ASML also developed EUV lithography machines. Until now, ASML is the only company that can ship EUV lithography machines. It is not difficult to see from the development history of ASML that at a certain stage, as long as the key route for future development is chosen correctly, it is very possible to achieve overtaking in corners.